diabetes is literally everywhere nowadays. If you think you're not at risk of getting diabetes, think again. Our modern lifestyle and eating habits puts us at a significantly high risk of not only diabetes, but all lifestyle diseases like heart attacks, high cholesterol, weight problems, just to name a few. Taking precautions now can prevent a lot of suffering later on. My name is Dr. Vamshi Bende. I'm an internal medicine and lifestyle medicine specialist. I specialize in lifestyle disease and diabetes reversal. Have you ever wondered how our diet and lifestyle cause these lifestyle diseases? Today, we will focus on type 2 diabetes, which is the predominant form of diabetes in adults. We will talk about the changes that happen in our body that lead to the development of diabetes. So, let's get started. Let's start with a little bit of background on type 2 diabetes. In a statement from 2016, the World Health Organization has said that the number of diabetics worldwide has increased by about four times. For every diabetic we know, there is another person walking around who is also a diabetic but never received that diagnosis because of delay in testing. Therefore, it is one of the most underdiagnosed diseases. Catching it sooner is important though, because the sooner we catch the diagnosis, the sooner we can implement necessary steps to stop and reverse the disease. Diabetes doesn't happen overnight, but takes years to develop and it happens in stages. Here are the three stages of diabetes. The stage of insulin resistance, then the stage of pre-diabetes, and finally, the stage of diabetes. To put it simply, diabetes is caused by consumption of excess calories, especially calories that come from unhealthy fats and refined carbohydrates. Once we start consuming excess calories, fat gets deposited in our body. Initially, fat gets deposited where it is supposed to be deposited, like our fatty tissues. But as we keep up with our unhealthy diet and lifestyle habits, fat then gets deposited in other tissues of our body. The first organ to get affected by this is our muscle tissue. Fat that gets deposited in our muscles interferes with the action of insulin. Insulin is the hormone which helps in transporting glucose into our cells. When fat gets into the muscle cells, muscles do not work properly and stop responding to insulin like they are supposed to. This is called insulin resistance and this is the starting point for the development of diabetes. To compensate for this insulin resistance, our body produces more and more insulin because we need to get glucose into our cells somehow and the only way to do it is to produce more and more insulin to overcome the insulin resistance. This process works for a little while and we are able to maintain glucose levels in the normal range. But remember, everything is not normal. We are producing way more insulin to get the same amount of work done. A high insulin level is our earliest indication of dysfunction before anything else changes. So the seeds of diabetes have been sowed. As we keep consuming excess calories, Insulin resistance keeps getting stronger and stronger, and in spite of producing a lot more insulin, our blood sugars start to rise slowly. If we get labs done around this time, we can see that our blood sugars are high, but not high enough to make a diagnosis of diabetes. So, we call this pre-diabetes. Pre-diabetes is a condition where our muscles become insulin resistant, our body is producing more insulin, and even with that, we are unable to keep our blood sugar levels in the normal range. As this process of insulin resistance and pre-diabetes keeps going on, the next organ to get affected is the liver. Fat gets deposited in and around the liver, making it insulin resistant as well. The only thing our body can do to overcome this resistance is by producing even more insulin. As time passes, even a really high insulin level is not enough for our body to keep sugars under control. If we do blood tests around this time, then we find that diabetes is now established. Our body did whatever it could to prevent diabetes, but that was not enough. Once liver gets insulin resistance, we get diabetes. At this stage, patients get started on oral diabetes medications. But remember, our body, especially our pancreas, has been overworking for years to produce more and more insulin. As the underlying disease process and our poor lifestyle choices go unchecked, there comes a time when fat gets deposited around the pancreas as well. 
leading eventually to pancreatic cell death. As more and more cells in the pancreas die, oral medications for diabetes will no longer work and we may need to start our patients on injectable insulin. This is the natural process of how diabetes happens in our body. First our muscles get affected, then our liver, lastly our pancreas. But here's the good news, diabetes can now be reversible if you can find the right doctor who can help you with that. The sooner we catch diabetes, the easier it is to reverse it. So the most important thing to do is to get tested first, especially if your body mass index, which is the BMI, is not in the normal range, as research has shown that it is a significant risk factor for diabetes. Even if someone doesn't have diabetes and are still in earlier stages like insulin resistance and pre-diabetes, we now have newer tests and technologies to estimate how much insulin resistance someone has and how well someone's pancreas is functioning. This can help us take precautions and prevent diabetes from ever developing. So get tested, take care of yourself, and let's try to stop this pandemic together.